Hello and welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is my first video of 2020 and that's because I took a break for Christmas and New Year's um, and now I'm on a social media hiatus but I didn't think that I should not put out a YouTube video. Oh, before I start. I'm Michelle, if you're new here, I'm a full-time reseller on Poshmark and in other places now. So that's me. And I don't know if you can hear the dog in the background licking water out of his bowl and now approaching. He's Leo, he might pop up, sometimes he does. So, okay, let's get into it. Okay, so this is three days of sales, four days of sales. One, two, three, four days of sales. And in total, this is for $827 in four days. It was 24 items with an average sale price of about $34.46. So that's where we're at. First sale is this Ula Johnson cardigan. It had issues. It had issues, but it was like a lavender color button down. Ula Johnson, um, I'll put a label of it here, is um, a really great label that you should be on the lookout for. A definite bolo, um, regardless, not regardless of condition, because anything in poor condition is a no-go, but um, this sold for 60 and my earnings were 48. Um, and it sold for 60 because of the condition. It was a little pilly. It had like um, some like fading on the back. And um, yeah, and so I could tell that it was just not like 100%. It was a little bit of an older style, but I picked it up anyway. And that was a, that was a good one. Next sale is a men's shirt. So uh, the brand is Marc Jacobs. And it had like a little pink well, it was pink, but it had like a little bunny on the pocket. And so that's what the design of the shirt was. And anyway, it sold for 18. My earnings were 14.40. Um, I'm a fan of the graphic tee. You kind of can't talk me out of it. So, I mean, I'm in like a graphic sweatshirt right now. That's just me. Okay, the next sale. Ooh, I should probably not continuously say the next sale because that's gonna be really annoying. <laughs> <laughs> but um, this next one is a Madewell scarf. It's um, an infinity scarf, so it's just like a scarf that goes around and around. And it was the um, softest ribbed circle scarf in like a burgundy maroon color. Um, yeah, it was soft, it was cute. I was into it. Sold for 14. My earnings were 11.05. I'm pretty sure all of those so far were offers sent to me, unless I. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that the Marc Jacobs one was an offer sent to me. Next sale is a Boohoo, is the brand, um, a Boohoo dress, and it sold for $20. My earnings were $16, so this was also an offer sent to me, and yeah, it was a cute dress. It was new with tags. I normally wouldn't pick up Boohoo in the wild, but I got this, um when I went sourcing through my friend's closet. And so, yeah, this was just one of the things that I grabbed out of there. This next piece is one of my favorites. It was really, really pretty. It was this vintage, it was a vintage blouse and I'll tell you how much it sold for in a second. But you can see, I'm sure in this photo, what it looks like. Tags for the style like Edwardian or, um, or like Victorian style um, is really popular right now and trending. So I would definitely keep an eye out for like the big sleeves or like high neck with the ruffles around the neck. Um, it was like sort of sheer and it was 100% silk with no stains or anything. I think I maybe could have gotten a little bit more for it had I waited, but I was just willing to part with it. Anyway, it sold for 45 and my earnings were 34.20. So Although I tagged it as Edwardian or Victorian, this is not a Victorian era blouse. It is not that old. It was an 80s label doing that sort of style uh, and that's popular regardless of the label 
or um, or the exact era. So if it looks sort of similar, if you find something that's like very roughly large sleeves or embellished sleeves of some kind, um, I would definitely pick those up. And I made sure to include all of those keywords in the title as well. So like balloon sleeve or um, there are different kinds of sleeves that you can Google and include those types um, in your title or your description when you're including keywords. Yeah, so I think I already said it, but it sold for 45. My earnings were 34.20 and I did offer a $1.80 shipping discount. And the girl who bought it was really, really sweet. And um, she actually has a shop of her own, so she also resells. But um, yeah, I thought that was cool. This dress was some like something that didn't hang well in the store, but on the like on a person it looks nice, I think. Um, and it looks it's like a really good layering piece. So that's why I picked this one up because it's like a good, you could style it really well. That's what I'm trying to say. Um, it is a free people, the, the style name is Striped Skies Brown. It's the Striped Skies dress. <laughs> I was just reading off the title to you. But anyway, this one sold for 45. I offered a dollar 80 shipping discount and my earnings were 34.20. This next brand is one, I'm not sure how many people are familiar with the brand, so I guess you could call it a bolo. Um, I'll put a photo of the label here somewhere. This brand is Frank and Oak, and it was a new with tags shirt. It was a size large, so I think that's important to note because I think in general, larger, larger sizes will not necessarily go quicker, but I think they'll demand a higher price point. But anyway, I think sizes large, extra large, and beyond are always a good thing. Anyway, I digress. This sold for $52 and my earnings were $39.80. I offered a $1.80 shipping discount. So uh, that was that sale. It was just a really cute shirt. It was just a button down, it had like some little Western sort of detail. Well, you know, like when it's, it's like kind of curved around, I don't even know what that that detailing is called, but that has a name. Um, anyway, that's what that was. This next sale was one of those ones that like, you know, when you, you know, when you buy something and you're like, I shouldn't have bought that when you get home, you know, like, like that, that's what this felt like. <laughs> So it sold for $10 uh, and my earnings were $7.05. Now this is like the perfect example of something that retails for a lot and does not always resell for a ton. This brand is Worth, W-O-R-T-H. Um, you might be familiar with like Worthington, which I think is sold at like Kohl's and stuff. Worth is a higher end brand. I don't know, this was new with tags. It sold for $10. It was a cute style, but it only sold for $10, even though it probably it probably retailed for over $100. I don't know. Sometimes that's the way the cookie crumbles, you know? This one is an anthropology brand, which I've mentioned in other videos before, but I am getting pickier with the mall brands I pick up, and it's just because I think over time and having more experience, I'm seeing that too much of one thing can be a bad thing. <laughs> so um, I think anthropology made well, um, free people aren't always going to give you, you know, the higher price point sales, but there are lots of really cute styles. Some of them are really dated though. Anyway, this one was a really pretty peplum top. It was more loose fitting, so it just kind of had a ruffle hem and I don't know why I'm describing it because I'm gonna include a picture here anyway but it was called the Cascading Ruffle Peplum Top. And it was a size extra large. It sold for $12. I offered a $1.80 shipping discount, so my earnings were $7.25. This one I, I think I probably showed in another haul video. And um, one second. Okay, like I was saying, this one I think I showed in another haul video. It was J. Crew, but this is an older style J. Crew, so it had like, I don't even know if I have a picture of the label in it, uh, in the listing, but anyway, it was an older label. It didn't have the style name on the inside, but it had um, 
or it didn't have the style number on the inside, but it had the style name. So I knew it was the Oxford shirt, but I didn't know like specifically which Oxford shirt it was. Anyway, it was a size eight, sold for 24, $1.80 shipping discount I offered. So my earnings were 17.40. Another J. Cruz skirt. This is a wrap style skirt, which I do really enjoy picking up wrap styles. Uh, I think it's something that's very flattering on most people. So I think that's always a plus and it's one of those just like classic styles. And so this one sold for $17. I offered a $1.80 shipping discount and so my earnings were $11.80. Um, I would pick this up again. I think it's cute. It was a size six. Yeah, I'm happy about it. And this is another item out of my same, the same person who I got the Boohoo dress from, I got these pants from, or wait, no, that was it. Okay, the girl who I got the Boohoo dress from, I got this exact same style of pants from, but in a different color. Anyway, this is my second time selling these pants. They're a blush pink pair of pull-on pants. They're very wide leg and they're from Uniqlo. So Uniqlo is, a Japanese brand definitely Japanese and the retail on Uniqlo is not super high I'm dragging this out it's $16 is how much I sold it for and I <laughs> I offered a dollar 80 shipping discount my earnings were 11 and now I'm just holding tape and so that's that this next dress this is a vintage dress from a brand that most people know so anyway let me first tell you how much I sold it for, which is $55 and my earnings were $44. I had this listed for a little while, so I think this sold in like six months or so. I had a ton of likes on this and I had it cross-listed on Depop and I definitely had more interest on Poshmark on this dress, but the high neck sort of more modest styles are becoming more popular and so I think that's why it didn't sell then and now it would but anyway I would definitely pick it up again I'm still a fan of the dress and I love the print it was 100% silk and I still haven't said the brand yet but it was Maggie London and so this dress in particular was from like the 60s or 70s it was a really pretty dress uh, it also had a little bit of a puff sleeve so it was wider on top um, or I should say maybe balloon sleeve because it was like cinched at the wrist. So yeah, I'm happy with the sale. I think it's a great dress. Moving on. This was something out of my personal closet, a Casio watch, which I actually have on my wrist right now, which I don't know how many of you are familiar with these digital Casio watches, but I basically won't wear any other arm accessory. <laughs> I'm a fan of yellow gold. This one was it, the exact same watch that I'm wearing on my wrist right now. These I think were very popular in like the 90s and 80s. I just think it's a cool watch and it tells me the time. So anyway, it needs a battery and there was a little bit of fading so I replaced it. Thank you, Amazon. Um, <laughs> and so I sold this one for $10. My earnings were $5.25 after a $1.80 shipping discount, which I was happy to offer because I wasn't using the watch anymore. So this next one is a caftan or like a, um, a swim cover-up. So the style was the Lily Pulitzer is the brand and the style was the Linda Marie and it sold for 50 and my earnings were $40. So that was an offer sent to me and I was very happy about it. That's it. It was silk. <laughs> next brand is I want to say it's a bolo, but I think that it doesn't retail for like a lot, a lot. The brand is Everlane, and this is just a t-shirt. You can see that because I know I'm going to edit, future Michelle is going to edit a photo of the t-shirt into here. But um, it sold for 15 and my earnings were 12. But the t-shirts, um, like the intimates, the like most of the knitwear doesn't retail for a ton. That's part of why people love Everlane is because it's it's a, it's an approachable price point. So that's why I think most people love it. Also their transparency and their radical transparency. But anyway, I love Everlane, but it doesn't always resell for 
a ton. Um, I would say that they're like jackets, cashmere, and shoes definitely do better as well as their dresses and things. Their jeans, for example, are great, but they only retail for $68. So if you find a pair of Everlane jeans, you know, at a good price point, then you could probably resell them for 30 or 40 bucks, maybe. I have a love-hate relationship with this brand. It is and other stories. And again, you'll see the ruffle, mock neck, sort of sleeve embellished detailing on this top. Um, and like I was saying, I think that's partly why this sold now, because that's becoming, I knew that it would sell fairly quickly and that it would be a popular style. But and other stories does not always sell for very much. Um, H&M, COS, COS, and other stories, and I think there's another label under the house of labels, um, but they are all sister, sister companies. They're all owned by the same company. So I'm happy with this sale. I thought it was a really cute top. I would totally pick this up again. I would wear it myself. It was a size six. Um, I'm definitely forgetting to mention the sizes for everything. <laughs> but I'll try to do that. Okay, this jacket I had sitting for quite a while, but I would still pick it up again. I just probably, I think I paid up a little bit more for this than I should have. It was a Ralph Lauren uh, dry goods coat or jacket, and it was a brown suede. It sold for 27 and my earnings were 21.60. So that was an offer sent to me. And yeah, I think I, think I would do it again. I'm not sure, maybe. This next sale was another thing from my personal closet. I actually just bought these from Christina's BTQ on Instagram, Christina Thrifts on Instagram. And I bought them for as much as I sold them for. So um, I was really just trying to get my money back on these because I unfortunately did not fit in these shoes. So they're a pair of Sorrel or Sorel, I don't know how you say that, Ainsley Conquest boots. That's that's a style name. They sold for 80, my earnings were 64. They were basically new. I bought them new without box or new without tags. Next piece is a, another semi-vintage. It's not really vintage, it's more retro. This is like a 90s Y2K guest top and it had the spell out all on the sleeve. I modeled this one. And I think that's, I think with vintage or like that retro style that goes on Depop a lot, I think that's really key to this kind of a, a piece to sell because people wanna see what it looks like on and they're not sure about sizing. So anyway, it was a size large, but I think it ran a little bit small or I guess you could wear it fitted, but um, I sold it for 26, my earnings were 19. And I think with something like this, it's really important to include keywords again. So like 90s Y2K and the word spell out so that people know what it is and can find it. Next brand. I was excited to find when I found it because I had never found it before. And I think I've only found it one other time since. But the brand is Peruvian Connection. And in general, I think Peruvian Connection does really well. I think this piece was just like a really basic style. But um, it was... I think it was like a Pima cotton or like a Modal. It was just a black maxi dress. This sold for $28 and my earnings were $22.40. I'm pretty sure that I price dropped for this for Closet Clear Out and that's how she bought it. Next item is a coat. So this is a J. Crew uh, coat. It sold for $35 and my earnings were $26.20. I offered a $1.80 shipping discount. I had this for way too long and I would not pick this up again simply for the fact that I think I just got excited that, that I was finding a J. Crew jacket or coat because I had heard so often that they sell for a lot and this was just an older style so it wasn't as popular, it wasn't as sought after and so yeah, this was the Melton coat and it was sort of a short pea coat. Also, it took up a ton of space, so I'm happy about the sale, but lesson learned. This next sale was a bundle, and it is the first bundle, as you can see, in this four days. It is a pair of jeans and a pair of shoes. The pair of shoes were 
pair of Rag & Bone Delos Espadrilles in sandstone. And the jeans were like an 80s L.L. Bean high-rise jean. The buyer on this one actually liked the jeans and then I sent her an offer. The price point was just a little bit too much. And so she was like, but I'll buy them when they're around this. And then I was like, okay, thanks. Like, I'll let you know. <laughs> and then a few weeks later she came back and when I listed these shoes, she liked them. She didn't ask for another offer, but I said, hey, I saw you like these shoes and I sent her an offer for a bundle of the shoes and the jeans that she initially had liked and she accepted. So the offer price was $76 and then the shipping discount $1.80 off. So my earnings were $59. That's about 30% off and I'm still happy with it. I felt like if I sent her an offer for the bundle of the two, I was kind of just crossing my fingers and saying, maybe she'll be interested, maybe she won't, but it's worth a shot. <laughs> I mention it because I don't know if, if people do that often enough. I don't think, I think that a lot of like new poshers might think that they're being annoying by sending multiple offers or like constantly reaching out, but I don't think it's annoying. I think people like that interaction and that customer service and that connection so that is why I do it boom and let me also say that I don't always say that it works 110% of the time but the times that it does I think it's still worth trying this next sale was just an item that I thought was really pretty and like I said earlier I'm a fan of wrap styles and this was a free people beach cover-up or like a wrap style sweater or top um, it was a size medium and it had really wide sleeves and I thought it was just adorable. It was a nice, really pretty blush color. It sold for $32 and my earnings were $25.60. I'm pretty sure this was another one that I, um, I sold because of closet clear out. Don't quote me, but I'm pretty sure yes. Next piece is, this was an 80s coat and it was leather on the outside and it was you know, a camel color, which is always a good thing when looking for outerwear. That camel color, I think year after year, always does well. It was just nice. It was just a nice suede on the outside, like fur on the inside. It was just nice. Um, anyway, I had this for, let me double check. I had this for two months and yeah, I am still a fan. It was one of those pieces that I probably would have kept myself if I wasn't a reseller, but like, anyway, I sold it for $45 and $36 was my earnings. The last sale is a pair of shoes that was also from my personal collection. Uh, this is a pair of Vagabond booties and they're a black suede all around. They were the Daisy ankle booty. Um, Vagabond, if you're not familiar, I would say that that's a bolo in terms of shoes. I mean, they're, all the shoes are cute. Like, every shoe they make, I like. <laughs> um, anyway, they were an ankle booty, which is still selling. They sold for $55. The earnings after the shipping discount of $1.80 was $42.20. These actually sold within minutes. Like, I listed them and in I want to say like 30 minutes they sold. So I was really happy about that and that was actually my last sale for 2019. And then that's it. <laughs> so that was the last four days of 2019. It was four, yeah. From the 28th to the 31st, the total was $827 and my earnings after all of the shipping discounts and Poshmark fees came to $637.40 and that's that. I was pleased. <laughs> After I made that sale, I ended up going to, um, to New Jersey to visit with family and so that was very nice. Now I'm back and now it is 2020. We have 2020 vision. Everything is good. I'm pumped and I'm gonna plan out some more stuff for you guys. Yes. So this video is actually pretty long. I'm gonna hopefully trim it down a bit, but who knows? <laughs> I hope you learned something from this. If you have any suggestions as to other videos, or if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments down below. If any of those Bolo brands or things that I mentioned along the way were helpful, 
also let me know because that stuff helps me to know if I'm doing the right thing. <laughs> um, anyway, I am now about to head off to meet up with a friend so I can work from her house and we're gonna have a fun chill day. That's that's pretty much it. That's what I'm up to. I'm gonna edit this video. I'm gonna post it and I hope you guys are into it. <laughs> I will see you guys in the next one. Thank you so much for watching. Oh, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up, ring the bell for notifications, and hit that subscribe button down below. Thanks so much for watching. Bye!